What's up, I'm Stan Lake, and it is uh, the first week of February, there is snow on the ground, and I'm in a mud puddle. I'm like, gonna look for some salamander larva right now, because that's, uh, that's what I do. So, I don't have a tripod, nor anybody to film me right now. So my camera's on a log, so this might be kind of a weird dynamic. I'm squatting in a mud puddle, so my feet are getting wet. I'm gonna go start looking for salamanders right now. Now I'm actually going to use a net, I don't normally do that, but it's freezing out. And success! You're asking yourself what kind of idiot plays in mud puddles in the winter time. This one. Alright. See if that's all I got. Alright. See if we can check it out. This is a marbled salamander larva. Now, basically, uh, marble salamanders breed from November to March. Uh, specifically between like November and January they'll actually lay eggs in uh, what are called ephemeral wetlands now uh, basically it's like a temporary place where water will stand in the wintertime usually in the early spring but it's not deep enough to support fish so that things like this little guy uh, so they can survive um, now what will happen is they'll be laid as an egg and uh, a few weeks later they will hatch out and then they will kind of basically just be in this larval stage in the water until uh, about March or April and they'll crawl out as salamanders. This is actually, like I said, a marbled salamander. So when it grows up to be an adult, it'll be black with silver splotches all over it. Now, cool thing is, is the metamorphosis that takes place. Kind of similar to the metamorphosis that'll take place in your life if you accept Jesus into your heart because you start out as like a larval phase of like a human being and then you metamorph into this awesome creature uh, filled with God and when you're living in his will then you become this whole new creature in Christ and it's pretty neat uh, you may not look a whole lot different on the outside but on the inside you are glowing because you have the love of Jesus in your heart and that's just uh, that's what I'm trying to show Ta